there's another species of deer that has kind of a grayish tint. I forget what they're called. And uh, they tend to be less scared of humans, a little less skittish. You can talk to them, you know, you can get kind of close to them. I mean, not, you can't get too close, but they tend to be fairly unconcerned if you're only like 100 feet away. And uh, so I think it was one of these. So I said, hello, <laughs> just passing through. You gonna let me pass? And uh, then pretty soon it just darted off to the side. But I didn't move until I <laughs> saw what it was gonna do. And as I say, at that time I had my camera in the backpack, so I wasn't able to grab it. That would have been a good shot because it stood there for quite a while and it wasn't it's not like a lot of times you try to get shots of animals in there they're you know blending into the to the background foliage and so forth you have trouble getting a close-up on them and that kind of thing there wouldn't have been any problem here it was out in the open alongside the trail here we see evidence of the Homo sapiens forest hiker. Peanut butter filled pretzel, probably. I didn't drop that, but I'd be willing to bet that some human did. Well, we've been strolling across the plateau there on a nice straightaway, but now we're descending. What goes down must come up, right? I don't really remember what we've got on the other side of this. Uh, if we just look straight ahead, is that the trail? Is this going to be another V-like thing? I know it's not as bad because, well, frankly, I don't really remember this ascent here, but, um, huh. well, yeah, but it's definitely not as bad as the V. I think I can get down this one without using a staff. Just heel and toe it. Just feel every step. Can't do this on the V. You definitely have to go sideways. Okay, yeah, we do ascend over there, but it really doesn't look as bad. And then it looks like the fence is up there where we go into that fenced area. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I do remember this crossing because I didn't go through the mud. I went around there. But uh, we got to worry about this bush here on the side. Whatever it is. I don't want to get attacked by that thing. And have my arms attacked up here. Oh. There we go. Okay, now up this way. And this may be the very last climb. But, you know, in case it isn't, I'll, you know, I'll deal. On a straightaway, going through that fenced in part where you have to climb through the fence, both ends. And I see we're coming to the end of it because there's a yellow sign up there with a black arrow pointing left. And we remember that that's deceiving if you're following Donut Hole because uh, it makes you think that you're supposed to go down the road or the the wide the road or the wide trail there or whatever but uh, we don't want to do that all right so we want to come through here yeah 
And then there's an orange ribbon there with a sign pointing left. That's also an orange ribbon with a sign pointing left, right in front of the donut hole trail. But I guess that's telling you if you want to do the long fork loop, you go that way. Yellow blazes. And then both trails join up right here. So we're not too far away. We're, this is also still like the Phi Camp Trail, I guess, or FYE Camp, whatever. So down here a ways, we'll see a sign for that. And then we go to the left and descend into the park. Thank you.